Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Devil May Cry 2. If you're sticking around since the first episode, thank you for giving this Let's Play a chance, even though this game is a little on the down... on the down path compared to the first one. But... I mean, you get, you must be sticking around because of me, so I appreciate it. Oh, I guess I could take this down, and I know I can't. Oh, I see you. That's a lot of orbs. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, it's the goat again. I remember you. Oh, what the? Maybe I shouldn't be on the street. Where are the flames even coming from? Are they always finding me? I think they're just locked on. I wonder if that creature is summoning them. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally! Where are you going? You can't go back. There. That was annoying. The gate is firmly shut. This gate is controlled somewhere from the station. I was going to check out that alley over there and I got interrupted. Now I want to go back there and see what's there. Might as well just grab the extra orbs on the way. It was this alley, wasn't it? Now, this, is a, this is a big area. Where it could very well be a dead end. Did I just go in a circle? I think I went somewhere I'm supposed to go. This must be the station where I control the gate. Oh! Wow, DK, you've really changed. Oh, it's a boss! Okay, so I gotta watch where it's jumping from. I'm guessing the glass will hurt me if it falls on my head. Oh, look at that knockback, too. Is this really all I gotta do? Oh, you can stagger it, too. That's good to know. Also, there's some health over there in the corner in case I need it. Oh. What the hell? Seems you found some backup! How dare you. Wow, I just got up and it knocks me down immediately? What the hell? That's hella rude. 
Why is it prioritizing the non-important stuff? That gets obnoxious real fast. Come on! You have to be really fast with the dodging. I didn't even get my dodge to register, and somehow I avoided damage anyway. Except for that time! Dodge doesn't care. Do the enemies just keep respawning until I kill this creature? I guess so. Are you gonna come down or what? I see how it is. Get out of here. Monkeying around. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> the key. A key to unlock a huge gate blocking a passage from the station to the harbor. Oh, that's the same one I saw. Cool. Might as well just grab the health. Where do I go to next? I guess go back? I suppose so. Where's the door to? Probably over that way. Yep, there it is. Oh, there's this thing, too. I know there was a gate. But I wonder what else is there. Could I open any of these doors? Oh, what? Oh, both of them are like the shield rollers. Let's see how it is. Stop that! Thought these uh, particular enemies just kept on coming. Oh, they do. Why? Why would you make these enemies infinite? Oh my! Two of them hit me at the same time. Oh my god, these are obnoxious. You asked for this. It didn't have to be this way. Oh, I could have just gone in here. There's a secret room in this room. Oh, 
Oh, I got the other one on the backswing. That's cool. Oh, damn. There's a, there's a lot more goatlings. Good thing I upgraded the sword at least once. Okay, I should be able to win this now. If I don't, there's something wrong. Okay, there we go. Now we're in business. Give me that power I so rightfully deserve. Okay, at least the enemy stopped. Except for that time. You know what? Maybe they're just not worth my time anymore. That's where I started. Did I not go this way? Oh, hold on a second. There was an orb fragment here. That was worth getting. Oh, there we go. Is this the way to the gate? I think so. Yeah, I'll just ignore you all. There it is. Let me in. That's it! Oh, wow, that's a lot of D's. Alright, let's save. Mission 4. She has many arms, but only one heart, as she waits for the hunter deep in the water. I better not be going in the water. I didn't like it that much in the first game, and I ain't gonna like it now. Oh, wow, that was a secret room already. Alright, I guess we'll be using this tactic. Yeah, I know it's boring, I don't care. They should have got to my level! So it's their fault. We could have done this a better way. And they didn't want to. But guess what? It's bird hunting season. Let's go. Give me, give me that which I deserve. Hmm. Anything up here? No. Oh, I see something up there. Oh, that was an entire orb! Even better! So yeah, apparently you can actually cancel your lock-on attack by using R2. Which also feels kind of stupid. Because 
usually in video games, you have to hold a button to use a lock-on. Not to have it off. Just the opposite of what most games normally do. What, what do I know? I'm just a guy that plays video games, not make them. I feel like making the combo system a little too simple. It means you have less options to actually increase the variety of your combo. So it's a double-edged sword. Like, it's simpler, but then they made it too simple. Should I just go through the door already? Because I think they're just going to keep on coming, aren't they? Oh, that's not even a door! But why did I come here, then? Maybe this was a dead end the whole time, I was supposed to go the other way. This is over here? Now oh, this looks like where I came from. I honestly can't tell from where I am. Is it supposed to be this way? Can you hop over this? Oh, you had to beat up the rubble. Okay. My mistake. <laughs> okay, there's a green orb there in case I need it. Because if I fall down the water, it shouldn't hurt me. Ooh, gimme. Say, gimme! Yeah, it looks like a dockyard. Huh? Oh! You're supposed to hit that. And you have a limited amount of time to do it. Oh, but I can go this way. Let's try this way first. You know, would it kill you to be slightly more aggressive on normal, even? It's like, well, Bunga, that's your fault for picking normal. Yeah, I know. But come on, in the first game, they tried. Here, they just don't. Oh, gimme. Quick Heart. A magic stone with the heart of a running demon beast. I think I need that for that switch so I can go through the gate faster. Goodbye. You're not worth my time. Alright, so where is it I gotta go? 
I should retrace my steps so I know the correct place. And not go the wrong way. Okay, it was just down here. Oh, hello. Give me all the good stuff. Give it to me now. That's a secret room as well, apparently. Homrom Sira. Okay, this is just a pallet swap an enemy I already fought, but it's on fire this time. Still just as weak. Kaboom Sira. How do they even come up with these names? I can't get over how weird they are. It definitely made a lot more sense in the first game. Just mash on the keyboard randomly until they come up with something. That might be even the tiniest bit coherent. Oh good, I got another blue orb filled. So I'm guessing that room with the infinitely respawning enemies is needed to get more Devil Trigger. And I need the Devil Trigger to get to that gate. Alright, I get it now. Oh, I thought you could slash the sign. Can I just shoot this thing? Does it work? I don't think that... I don't think you can do that. Hang on, is that amulet even equipped? Yeah, put on quick heart so I can move faster. Good thing I checked. Hope I didn't take too long. Oh my god, I did. All because I got stuck. All right, do it again. That's why I'm not always a fan of like the camera being like this. Like fixed camera angles. Like I would just like a little bit more freedom so I know where I'm going at all times. Wow, I almost didn't make it again. That was cutting it close. Okay, don't get that yet, because I don't need it right now. Aha! Figure there'd be something behind there. Release the Kraken, or the joke at Gulm! Okay, you can't just do that. Oh, I thought you could roll right through it. No, you can't. Not even behind, either. Yeah, you have to rely on jumping. Okay, you can destroy the tentacles after a few hits each. 
Oh, but they come back. Now I have to avoid the gas. Okay, I have to... There's the head. But the tentacles are going to keep me from going there. As is the gas. So I gotta make sure I turn the lock on off. Or I'm gonna hit the tentacles instead of the main body. I just got a shield. Oh, now the tentacles are getting even worse. There we go. Now I got my health back. Ow. Ow! Stop that. You're supposed to die. What? That one was barely moving. What the hell? How is it still active? Don't make any sense, video game. Oh my god. Hit it! This is just annoying. Because the lock-on just doesn't want to work properly. If it had done even that, this would be a much better boss. You see? Oh my god! Fight sucks. Fuck you. No joke. Oh, how this boss was designed is a joke. You end up fighting the controls more than you fight the boss, even. Oh, I got a shotgun now. And that's it. Wow. <laughs> Dads! <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Alright, mission five. Close to your eyes, but far off in your mind. The hunter must learn the value of options. Oh god, hiccups. I should probably increase the power of my handguns. Since I do use them from time to time. Alright, let's go. Guess I don't have to worry about a parking ticket. Now what? Oh, hello. Freaky! We got boneless Sif, everyone! Oh, Freaky and Gary, they have different names. Sometimes they just randomly stop and do nothing. Oh, 
Oh, wow, I actually got him during the Psycho Crusher. How are they both still alive? I could have sworn that Gary was close to death. Okay, there we go, that's one. Oh, it wasn't close to death. Never mind. There's one issue I have with the health bars for enemies. The bars blend in with the floor. So you can't even tell if you're doing the deed or not. I don't think that knight liked what I did. There's more! Oh! Yeah, thank you, game, for not showing me where the attack was until it was too late! Okay, just deal with the goat first. And I'm not talking about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan would not be seen within 50 yards near a game like this. He'd probably be playing 5 or 3. Now you understand why I upgraded the handguns. Oh, I can press L2 to switch shotgun? Shotgun? I guess I can give the shotgun a chance for now. I guess I can knock down enemies easily. It's just not as fast when it comes to the flying creatures. What do we have over here? This looks suspicious. Good thing I checked. Bugs! Infestant! That sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh archetype. I'm done, done with you guys already and I just met ya. It's always like two ways of enemies, then you're done. I will admit that some people might find the secret room uh, gimmick for this game jarring. That it has no stipulations. Like, no time limit. I don't know, you just kill what's there. And that's it. Personally, I like it. Because it means I don't have to think as hard to solve a fight. But at the same time, I can understand why some people may not like it. Because then it just oversimplifies things. Anyway, let's just continue on through here. Oh, really? That's not the right way? Okay! Don't know why I was did like that. Oh, th this ape again? Oh, 
it doesn't look like I had to fight it. But I might get some satisfaction if I did. Oh wow, that was a grab. And I can't get out of it. Did that damage just get delayed? I only lost that bit of health sometime after I hit the ground. Watch, it's gonna happen again. Oh, what happened upon impact? It just punched its own minion. Oh, wow! Yeah, I, I couldn't see. Thanks, game. Why would I ever need to see what I'm fighting? That's a foreign concept. Alright, you asked for it. It's DT time! Dodge the grab that time! Maybe I can't get grabbed in Double Trigger. Could be what it is. Or where are we going? Oh, that's a dead end. Invisible wall over here. Maybe in here? Oh, that's also a secret room. That's not where I need to go. Spike here? Oh, those are bombs! Shotgun might be better for this. Really? Ah, I was... Really? I was that close? That hella rude. And that's all. That one didn't seem as threatening. Except for me being too close to an explosion. Oh, you could just go over the tank. Or the truck. Oh, that's a tank! Infested tank? Oh, there's, an, there's another one over there. Oh. Oh! <laughs> yeah, my, my thoughts exactly, video game. Come on. I mean, my only concern is just the other tank over there. And that's why. Because it just had the greatest shot of all time. But as long as you're really close to one of the tanks, it cannot do a thing to you. Oh my god. Sometimes it just never hits you, and other times it's perfect. Too bad that out of the tank is out of view. Okay, that's the first one. It's not even aimed properly to me. I'm over here. Is 
Did they not think this fight through at all? I don't think they ever did. Like, being able to fight a tank, that would be cool! Spoiler alert! It wasn't. Am I ready uh, for something a little bit better? I hope. I better finish that fight with an S rank there. There'd been something horribly wrong if I didn't. Are you kidding me? There's another one. Up there! Okay. Oh, so if you jump on top of the tank, you're just gonna take... What? That one actually tried to fight me, because I had a... Uh, had miniguns on top. I thought it would be a little bit easier if you just hit it on the top, compared to the bottom. But no! That's actually worse! So this is literally all you do to fight the tank. That is so miserable. <laughs> Why would you think this was a good idea at all? Why? Get it. What misery that was. Is this where we gotta go? No, that's another secret. You know, I kind of miss these guys. At least they put up more of a fight that the tank did! And that's saying something. Like, how bad do you have to be for a tank? Did you get outclassed by a bunch of tiny peons? That's okay. I get health anyway. That's okay. Sometimes you can get rewarded for incompetence. That happens to a lot of people. Give me the good stuff. Looks like there's something over here. What's up that way then? Can I go that way? Or maybe it's behind here. Aha! You can go this way. It's a 
another amulet. Offense Heart! A magic stone with the heart of a vigorous battle god. Alright, so I guess that just gives me more damage. Okay, Electro Heart and Offense Heart. Okay. So now I can have two of these things attached. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, I think moving faster is more up my alley at this point. All right, let's go back. Where would I need to go to next? Probably that ramp where the other tank was. I guess I can check that. That might be it. Oh, I see an orb. I might want to get that on the way. Oh, hello! Another blue orb fragment. And another red orb. Oh, I just ended up back here? That's a little tedious. This area is really big for a whole lot of nothing. You know? The dumb of just having a little bit more to do. And sadly, there isn't much to do. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Now what? Now it's a chopper. Yeah, this game went there. So I guess I'm just supposed to shoot the missiles whenever they arrive. Or just dodge them. That works too. This is seriously how I'm supposed to fight this thing. Just jump and shoot. Then jump. Then shoot. Then jump. Then shoot. Maybe a bit of jumping, and definitely some shooting while you're still in the air. This is the extent of what you gotta do to beat this thing. Okay, that missile was hanging a long time. I don't even know if any of my sword attacks are even hitting it at all. That would be unfortunate if, if they just don't. Right, it's almost dead. What a very exciting boss fight. Okay, it's downed. God, that was miserable. Ooh. 
orbs? I would gladly take them. Any more? I could use some more. Maybe I can upgrade the guns again. Yeah, this is just more of a climb. Oh no. Why do you go down that way? Oh, I thought the fire was chasing me. Wait, it is chasing me. I think? No, the chopper's still there. Let's get on this. That's a very small platform. But somehow I made it work. If I can get to the top of this building, it'll be a little bit better to fight this boss again. Why am I fighting this thing again? I just beat you. Huh, okay, that worked. Still more or less the same fight. Just as boring, if not more. It seems a little bit easier to hit the boss over here. Where are you going? Why are you scared? I want to be done with you. Do I even have to do this fight? Because it looks like there's stuff down there. Oh, you could have just skipped it? Seriously? Oh, I want to get all its health back. I should have just ran when I had the chance. I don't know why you're showing me this building, but all right. Is this where I gotta go to fight this boss for real? Huh? Where am I going? Oh. Okay, I can get up the building, that's good. They're definitely gonna do their best to uh, make it difficult. But I'll be doing my damnedest. Oh, I see something up there. I want it. They just go that way. But what if I wanna go this way instead?
There's even more? This doesn't feel very tense at all. Serious? Why is this jump so hard? That's right, the camera perspective sucks. That's why. Okay, now it's an actual boss health bar. You have any new tricks up your sleeve? At least show me you learned something. Or I can just do this. Unbelievable. It just did nothing. This is pathetic. I wish my double trigger would uh, build up faster, because that was just tearing through its health like nobody's business. <laughs> if I get up over here, it'll be a little bit quicker. It also means I'm more likely to get hit. Oh, come on! What? That can happen? Are you serious? Well, at least it didn't get all its health back. I would have just rage quit the game right there. Holy crap, that was miserable. Oh, that's not fair. I didn't even see you fire the missiles. There, I'll just keep using double trigger as many times as I want. I rolled the wrong way. Don't make me have to use a green star. <laughs> what is it called a green star? I think it was just a vital star. Can't see you. No, I can't. Oh! Piss off, you! You are stretching this out longer than you need to. What a dumb boss. At least I got a B for it. Alright, mission six. Uh, I guess I can get some power-ups now, can I? What do I want to get? You know, I should probably get the purple orb. So I can get more, uh, double trigger gauge. Don't have enough for a gun upgrade. I guess I'll get a blue orb. Oh, the next one's 6,000. Uh, maybe a small vital star. Wow, you can carry up to 30 of them at a time. That's neat, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll stop here. And in the next episode, we'll be taking on Mission 6. See everyone, thanks for watching.